Welcome back to the Campbell Tech channel. Today we are going to look at how you can implement the Builder design pattern in C Sharp. The Builder is a creational design pattern that enables you to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation. By utilizing the same construction process, the Builder can be used to create different representations of an object. Now at first glance, you might say this is an entire overkill. Why can't we just instantiate an object and set its property values? That's a very good question. But let's look at a few advantages of using the Builder pattern. Firstly, it encapsulates object construction logic. It provides a fluent interface for readable code. It supports step-by-step -step construction of objects. It gives you control over object creation and validation. It enhances code readability and maintainability. It enables creation of immutable objects. And last but not least, it facilitates easy creation of object variations. So now it's time to go ahead and implement our Fluent Builder. The first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and create the object that we will be building. And let's create a new class and call it Social Media Post. Now a social media post will have a few properties, including a property for the title, the content, the author, the date that the social media post was posted, a list of tags, an image URI and a list of links. Now, as you can recall, the builder is especially useful for building different representations of the same object. In other words, we might have social media posts that only contain a title, content and author and a date posted, while other social media posts might include images, links and tags. So let's add a string property for the title of our post, say public string title. Let's add another string property for the content. Yet another string property for the author of the post. And then a datetime property for the date that the social media post was posted. Let's also add a property that will contain a list of tags. So say list string and let's say tags. Right, then let's add a URI property for our image URI. If you want to include an image in your social media post, also add another list of string that can contain links. So that is if you have links to promotional content, courses, YouTube videos, whatever you want to add in there. Okay, so now we have our social media post object. And like I mentioned, the builder will be used to create different representations of a social media post. Okay, so as you have guessed, the next step is to actually create our builder. So let's call it social media post builder. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to create a private field you can make it read only of type social media post. Let's call it underscore post equals new social media post. All right. Then I always like to start with the build method because that's the last method that you will invoke to return the constructed social media post object. So I always like to add that first because you might still think about what specific fluent builder methods you want to go ahead and add. So that particular build method will always return the type that you're building. So in other words, social media post is the type. And then the method is called build. It takes in no arguments and it simply returns underscore post. The first method that we can go ahead and add for our Fluent Builder 
is a method to add a title to the social media post. So let's say public, and then to make it a fluid builder, importantly, you need to return the builder itself. So say social media post builder as the return type, and then the method can be called something like add title. It'll take a string parameter, we can call it title, and then we can say underscore post dot title equals title. And as you have guessed, you can say return this. Return this instance of the social media post builder. All right, so now our builder allows us to add a title to the social media post. The next fluent builder method that we want to go ahead and add is one for adding the content so we can just go ahead and copy that method so add content and let's change that to content let's call this content equals content so that's the text of the social media post in other words again go ahead and copy that method next up we want to go ahead and add the author so say add author some people also like to say set author instead of saying add. So whatever you prefer, you can call it. So let's say author and then post underscore author equals author. So as you can see, it's extremely simple to create a builder and a fluent builder in our case. So we already have methods for add title, add content, add author. So let's just go to our object again. So we've got title, content, author. Next up is the date posted. So let's call this actually set post date. It's going to take in a date time parameter. Let's call it date posted. Post.date posted equals date posted. Now you can obviously go ahead and add some validation in here and throw an argument null exception or whatever you like. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a Fluent Builder and not to cover all angles and make sure that we do not have a null exception, etc. So for simplicity's sake, I will not do validation here, but feel free to add validation yourself. Okay, if we go back to our object you'll see that we still have tags the image uri and links so the next one that we can do is one for adding tags all right so we can say add tag and this will simply be a string and then we can say if you might say, hang on, now you are doing validation. What's going on here? But uh, this is actually the type of validation that we have to do, else we will get an exception. So I'm going to say post dot tags. So we can say if post dot tags equals null, then we can simply instantiate a new list of string underscore post dot tags equals new list of string and that's all we have to do and then we can say underscore post dot tags dot add and then we'll add the tag there again you can add proper validation there to see if you already have that specific tag and prevent duplicates from being added you can throw an exception if you like but I'm not gonna do that for now. I wanna stick to the simplicity of the example. Right, we can also add links since we are working with strings right now. So we can say a link. You might say, why not a URI? It's actually not a bad idea. So let's use the URI object instead of a string. And I'm going to say add links and it 
it's obviously going to fail now but we'll change the type just now so if links equals null will instantiate a new list of uri and that won't work but let's go change the type to uri all right so that's a bit better so again if the links are null then we instantiate the new list of uri and then we can simply add the links to our list of links okay and in here we want to go ahead and add a method for adding an image uri we can just say add image let's say image uri and then i'm just gonna then i'm just gonna copy this piece of code here and say image uri equals image uri all right so now we've got a fluent builder method for adding values to each of the properties of the social media post object add image add link and then build all right so let's just make sure you'll see references to each one of these properties more references on the lists because we are obviously adding some validation okay so um what's next so next is to actually use this fluent builder so we can go to the program.cs class now this is the shorthand of the main method um, if you're not familiar with the latest versions of .NET. so i'm just going to take that out and then we can say social media post let's add the using statement there let's call it post equals new social media post builder and you'll see now how the fluent builder actually works so add title let's call it the builder pattern invoke the build method so long so that it actually compiles so remember if you invoke the build method there it'll return the constructed post object the social media post object okay we can also say add content then i'm just gonna say add the definition of a builder here We can say add author. Just going to use my own name, Sean Campbell. Then we can say add tag. We can say hashtag design patterns. Let's add another one. We can say hashtag hashtag C sharp. We can also add a link I'm not going to add an image and then we'll add a link to this video right and i'm just going to say for simplicity's sake http s some link dot io right so and then we construct the just complaining here because we obviously changed that to a uri object so we'll just say new uri instead of a string and then we invoke the build object All right so now we've got a fluent builder that allows us to construct a social media post and specifically to create different representations of the social media post object now, if you want to go ahead, we can actually write that out to the console. Just going to say post dot to string. Now we did not overwrite the two string method. So 
let's just see what it gives us as a default. And I'm just going to debug here. And there you can see the post object, author Sean Campbell. Add the definition for builder here, the date posted. I actually did not set that. The image URI is empty or null rather. We've got a link. And then we've got two tags, hashtag design patterns and hashtag C sharp. And the title is the builder pattern. Let's see what it shows in the console. So it obviously just says fluent builder C sharp at social media post. You can go ahead and override the two string method to print out all the properties that we have set. Fortunately, we did debug and I showed you the values of the constructed social media post object. We can set the post date if we want and we can simply say system dot daytime dot now and if we run it again you'll see that the date posted now contains a value which is today's date or the date that i recorded this video so as you can see it's extremely easy to create a fluent builder in c sharp i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please like it and subscribe to our channel so that we can give you more awesome videos like these